Ash, if David is still here, there he is. And his partner, who is in the United Kingdom, is responsible for all the pieces that are in Gallery 1. So Rachel and before her, um, Shauna, who left us um, in January of this year, and myself in the interim have been liaising with David Dalzell in the UK by email to get that exhibition onto those walls. So Dave, without <laughs> Dave. <laughs> so Dave, if you like, have to say a few words. Okay. I bought my own teleprompter. It's old tech, <laughs> but it's in my own handwriting, which I can't read anyway. So, first of all, uh, I'd like to thank um, Lindsay Giving Back and the Archive Collective in Edinburgh for helping get, getting the two copies from inclusion into the show. Also, Australia Post and the British and the Royal Mail for the ex exceptional um, service they provide. Not stress, but exceptional service. Uh, the God there we read this. This exhibition has been four years in the making, sparked by a conversation we had whilst viewing the Parliament building of the wedding cake here in Darwin. Spotting a magpie lark, discussing the bird's potentials, evolution from it from, from it being a dinosaur, as you do. Uh, this inspired Dave to begin playing with the perspectives, looking at the huge scale of nature against relatively small human constructions for decision making. Uh, that has such, such, such an enormous impact. Dave noticed Australians are less politically apathetic compared to the old country. Yeah, Dave, 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 an environmental biologist, has a strong interest in climate change crisis. We both like a political debate. Dave has used the themes of the Australian environment, climate crisis, and the political motivation to create the work you, you see today and to give a voice to the voiceless. For four years, we travelled Australia and New Zealand and the UK, collecting material. New South Wales Parliament was interesting. I uh, had to park quite a little way away and had to dash it in half an hour to get to the Quarry Street, take a few snaps, and then dash back to the Clearway to get the motor home before we got cooked. Uh, Brisbane, much more of a leisurely experience, was a, was a nice boat ride with the lovely Cheryl, our uh, guide, along, along the concrete jungle of Brisbane. Uh, Darwin, of course, Parliament House, there it is. No, it's just a step away down the road, perfection. Kakadu, my home for 24 years, where Dave and David, Dave's imagination was ignited by the fiery red tail black cock twos, heralding the beginning of the, of the dry season fires, was, a, uh, was another impact on Dave's uh, uh, vision. Now, of course, Kakadu being a grass and scrubby woodland, uh, which I'm much more familiar with and much more comfortable with. With all this information, Dave, then back to Norfolk, England, each year we to develop his work, working three months last year in lockdown, in, well, this year in lockdown. Dave has crafted his exhibition, A Quiet Listening, an artist's response to climate change. As we, as we view climate cr the crisis on our screens, digitally absorbing our world rather than actually observing it. Dave is here now via Zoom from the other side of the planet, a metaphor for uh, watching the climate <laughs> crisis uh, unfold. There he is somewhere there, so Mr. <laughs> Max Hedrum. <laughs> time for parliamentary and individual action is now, and we have a great opportunity to lead on and protect our awesome, inspiring environment. I have to thank Lindsay Black, as I must finish the speech. Thank you very much. And enjoy today's outbreak. <laughs> <laughs>